So here I am ready to do, do another day. I've had a nice big breakfast and I'll need that because I'm building the floors and the um, uh, uh, ceilings in this, uh, in this episode. And there's a composite, so lots of fiberglass and the high density foam board and the, um, I'm putting anything to do with resin, you just don't get any, uh, any rest. It just has no sympathy to you whatsoever, so you've got to get it done when the resin's going off, you know, so in this temperature it uh, begins a lot of work, so um, nothing more to say really and I better get into it. So I've uh, finished up yesterday turning the floor over. I've got it all turned down as you can see there, turned over, um, all glued down with a polyurethane uh, sealant. Um, There, uh, I've just um, come in after the weekend and I've uh, um, testing the bit of um, top coating I've put on. Incredibly uh, um, solid now, unbelievably so. so it's, the, the change is just amazing between what it was like yesterday moving those sheets around over the weekend and now it's just feels rock solid this floor. And I've only got one layer of the um, of the uh, um, 450 gram chop strand on the top, still another layer to go. So, um. Um, you know, I used to go and chasing the wildlife a lot. I still do, but uh, in these industrial areas, you wouldn't think there was much wildlife. But um, I want you to come and have, <laughs> have a look at this. Uh, Yeah, so here I am hard at it again. Um, I've progressed things a bit. I've got the uh, fiberglass base down now uh, with a polystyrene frame on the top of it. Uh, you can see the uh, skylight I framed in there. So I'm just about to put the um, uh, lay the fiberglass up on the top of it, um, and that'll make the ceiling you know, structural piece in one in one piece. And I'll be able to lift it up and get things happening again and get it moved up onto where it's supposed to go. This you know, the fiberglass, it's amazing stuff, you know, it's, it's light, it's, um, for volume it's a similar strength, strength to steel, but one-fifth the weight, and that's why in this, these sorts of situations it works fantastically. I've got the, uh, all the steel work around to have it, you know, that's brute force strength, and then I've got these light panels in between. But that's all well and good because, you know, 
To talk about fiberglass is real easy. Heaps of people on YouTube talk about fiberglass. When you come to do it, it's just a real pain in the behind. Um, you've got to be really hygienic about things. You can't get other contaminants into your resin. You, you've got short mix times, so you're always rushing. You're always rushing. And there's always the risk that something will stuff up and you'll lose a whole lot of, uh, of time and cost of materials. And the materials are, aren't insignificant. It's not like just um, framing it up out of steel and bunging a bit of you know, alley board or something on the outside of it. We're talking about you know, uh, 25 litres of as epoxy worth you know, $500, so um, full on into it again, I'm fogging up, uh, uh, it's a Saturday and um, the monsoon's here, which is a, a great relief, except everything's wet, it just pours down, um, you can't do anything up here without getting a sweat, you're just bending down and screwing things in and drilling or working out fiberglass and you just the sweat pours off you, know? it's, um, uh, you've got to experience it, and uh, you really got to work in it to see what it's really like. I, you know, as they say, um, only mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Well, there's an element of truth to that. <laughs> so I'm working on the uh, fiberglass now, and just or oh, the white PVC board. I'll fiberglass over that, and um, start working on that. What have we got out here? Yeah, the um, uh, wildlife is all around us up here, um, I'm feeding the birds. They don't come every day, which is uh, in a bush though, and normally they'd have a routine and they'd come every day if I put out feed in, in, the, in the bush, they have a routine that go around. But uh, in, the, uh, in these um, industrial areas, I guess they've, they've got a much bigger path, there's fewer of them and not as, enough, as much bush, so you know, it's about every once a week they come, Thursdays pretty generally, and I get the um, double barred. Um, pigeon, I get the or double barred dove, um, the uh, double barred finch, which is very common up here, and this little fellow, which I haven't seen before, is the chestnut breasted mannequin, apparently, uh, and that's a new one for me. I haven't seen one of those before. I might have seen them in feeding in the distance, but I haven't been able to get a, uh, a good look at them, so that's a first. So I've just uh, about finished the ceiling now. I'm um, just painting that with a nice boring uh, paint. Uh, I put some talcum uh, powder in the paint to sort of thicken it up so it gives a good sort of aesthetic coverage. Bulk set. Um, I won't paint the, uh, the skylight here because I've still got some um, with that, with that later, so I just painted the edge of that. Um, that rich piece in the middle, what I've got that for is to um, attach a hinge to so I can open it 180 degrees. Uh, if I put the hinge anywhere else on the bottom, I'd lose the ability, I'd only get 90 degrees. So, with that sitting up in front of it, it shelters it from rain when I'm driving, and also uh, allows me to open 180 degrees. So, I'm not all the way up, and we can set up an edge of the um, skylight and have the giraffes, I guess. I guess that's what you do with it. Anyway, I'll leave it there. The ceiling's gone. <laughs> oh, there it is up there. How'd that happen? <laughs> yeah, it took a bit of hard work, a bit of cajoling and mucking around and... and uh, all sorts of things, so... yeah. So I've got to glue it in and screw the uh, onto those timber battens I put in, as you remember, uh, and then that's all done. And it, you know, it, it, it's light, but it's not light. It's, you know, I'm guessing about 250 kilos, so I can't move it by myself, obviously. Um, so uh, I had to use a few pulleys and ratchet straps, but I got it up there. It's all good. All right, end of episode two. I catch you in the next episode, which will, I'll be making the walls and the windows too. Catch you later.